A very pleasant good night, my beloved brothers and sisters in Christ and outside the body of Christ. Well, once again, this is your Christian brother, Eric Braxton, speaking to you all from his beloved country, Trinidad and Tobago, the land of my nativity, the land of my birth, Trinidad and Tobago, this wonderful island country that is in the Blue Caribbean Sea. In this month of July 2018, in this part 40 video, yes, I think it's part 40 video. Brothers and sisters, I want to continue teaching you all about consciousness. Brothers and sisters, we many people have different cons concept about consciousness eh? and different philosophies and ideologies where consciousness come from. And they explain consciousness a total different way to how I teach in you all consciousness. Brothers and sisters, so a lot of people out there in the world at large are confused concerning consciousness. What is really consciousness? Well, brothers and sisters, I just want to say, brothers and sisters, that all consciousness that dwell in all living beings come from God. Let me repeat, all the consciousness, well, the first thing God created was angels, spirit beings, according to the Bible, Michael, Gabriel, Lucifer, and all the angels. All the consciousness in the, in the who give the angels consciousness? God give all the angels consciousness. You see, brothers and sisters, God did not create the angels, dead angels. He created the angels, live angels with consciousness. You see, he created Adam, the first man, a dead soul. Adam didn't have no consciousness in him. It's when God breathed the breath of life in him. Adam become a living soul and had become conscious. But not so with the angels. God speak all the angels, command them, manifest them into existence. Live beings. Yes, brothers and sisters. So all the angels in existence, they are conscious. Their consciousness come from God. The angels do not give themselves consciousness. And so too, in the physical world, all the animals, including human beings, all the consciousness come from God, brothers and sisters. So it come from God. Yes, consciousness come from God because God is the creator. We must understand this, brothers and sisters. We must understand that. Brothers, and I am teaching you all that, brothers and sisters. And anyone who teach something different to what I am teaching, well, they are going contrary. They are going contrary to the principle of the Bible. They are going contrary to the principle of the Bible. Brothers and sisters, is God is the one who give us consciousness. Give the angels consciousness and all living physical creatures consciousness. So consciousness come from God. Yes, my dear friends. Yes, my dear friends. Yes, my dear friends. Consciousness is awareness. So in other words, when you are alive, you are conscious. When, you're, when you are unconscious, well, don't you know you could be unconscious and, and you could be unconscious in an unconscious state and you're not dead? Well, brothers and sisters, people that go to go that face operation, for instance, like they go to the doctor and they need a hand to be amputated or for the doctor to operate on them, the doctors just put them in an unconscious state. That unconscious state is anesthetic. They go on the operation table, or before they go, the doctor give them injection, and it shut off the, the consciousness. The, the consciousness become um, non-conscious. They no longer become conscious. They no longer have awareness, brothers, for, for a period of time. And why is why is they are on this conscious state, on aware state, on the operating table, on the anesthetic? The doctors are cutting them and operating them, and they are feeling no pain. Why? Because they are in an unconscious state. They are in an aware state. But the person is alive. When the doctor finish operating them and cut off the amputator leg, or cut off the, the fingers or whatsoever, or cut off her ears, or put an artificial heart in them, about then they move them from the operation table and put them in a ward, maybe ward 15 or ward 13. And the person will remain there in that ward. 
and about f about well each in indif different to each individual person about f about 20 days after the person or let us say about eight minutes eight hours after the person regain con you hear the term regain consciousness so the anesthetic way out of the person and the person regain consciousness now the person become conscious now the person become aware now so the patient on his bed his, his eyes began to open he began to hear and he opened his eyes and he's seeing the nurse walking amongst him and he's seeing the doctors and he's seeing other patients now we look up and he see ward 31 he's in ward 31 so you see he gained consciousness he gained awareness brothers and sisters when he look at his son he sees his son is amputated the cut off his son but there's nothing he could do about it his son is already amputated he told the doctor that their son do something and fix the hand but the doctors and them take a decision to cut off his hand on a way to he so he is there about a half an hour after the doctors came up to check him and tell him well um um we cannot save your hand we try our best but 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 we try our best and we and we had to amputate we, your hand we had no choice and we cut off the hand cut off the foot or, the, or your two fingers it was a must because if we did leave it it uh, it'd be more worse and it affect the other part of the body so we had to cut off the fingers and they're now talking to him and they rationalize with him and he's and he then he agree with the do doctor and he agree with that decision that they have take brothers and sisters you see it's because he gained consciousness after a period of time eight eight hours after the operation brothers and sisters but when he was on a, on a, on a anesthetic he was in an unconscious state on a wind state he did not know anything and he did not know anything not only in the hospital but in the very in 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 in, in the country in that country that that person was he was not aware of anything in the country his home his family his friends whatsoever they was doing whatsoever activities they was doing he wasn't aware of nothing they was doing brothers and sisters brothers and sisters but before he regained consciousness his this is this example here his mother and his brothers and his wife came to the hospital and they was waiting downstairs for him now he regained consciousness he do not know the time when his mother and his parents came to the hospital he doesn't know how much hours there was waiting there for him to regain consciousness brothers and sisters before when he was when he was in the um for instance a next person after the operation he they put him up in the ward and five days after he gained recon he gained consciousness but before that five days passed before he gained consciousness his family visit him about two days he's unaware of that he doesn't know that is when he gained consciousness awareness now his family members will come up to the ward and began speaking to him and said you know you know when the doctors them they, rem they remove you from the operation table and they carry you up in ward 31 that was on a monday but the tuesday we came and visit here we came and visit here and we speak to the doctors the person who was under anesthetic were he aware of that the answer is no because he gained consciousness on a friday but the wednesday and thursday the family members came and visit him the person on that anesthetic was unaware that his family came the wednesday and thursday and visit him but he gained consciousness the friday for the friday let us say six o'clock and his family visit him eight o'clock in the night and they relaying these stories how they come and visit him during the week did he know that when he was under that unconscious state no the answer is no that information had to relate to he brothers and sisters why because when you is unconscious you do not know nothing so that's the difference between unconsciousness and consciousness consciousness is when you know when you're absorbing information you're aware of the information but when you are unconscious you do not know 
anything. That's the different brothers and sisters. So I'm teaching you all that, brothers and sisters. Brothers and sisters in Christ and outside the body of Christ. And I've used a little example there. I'll use more examples to tell you all the, now the difference between consciousness and unconsciousness. When you're in the conscious state and when you are the unconscious state. When you are in the where state, which is consciousness, and when you are in the unware state, which is non-consciousness, with being not conscious, brothers and sisters, there's a difference between the two states, brothers and sisters, in Christ and outside the body of Christ. Well, brothers and sisters, I've come to the part of this uh, part, the end of this part 40 video. May the grace of God be with you and with me and with the human family from this day forth and forevermore. Shalom, peace. See you all in the next video soon. Bye-bye, my friends.